Hey guys, it's this little cloth here today and so this monster analysis video we're going to be going over Baba Bash here and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should get him out of his current conjuring event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Baba Bash here is the new ancestor monster and his role is attacker. His traits are going to be a dodge area, hardened stamina regeneration, and area stamina leak. Pretty good traits actually, some really good ones. We have rank 0 which is really really good, rank 3 honestly isn't too great. But then rank 4 and 5 are definitely good bonuses. And then his virtues are team damage boost and team double damage, which are both really great. And in order to get these, you will have to remove six status effects, which can be easy depending on what monsters you're running. And then his pros and cons are good trait, access to PER control immunity removal and evasion removal. He also has a curse, stamina leak, stamina removal, and a random negative effect to annoy the enemies, which is pretty good. He also has a low stamina cost and really good virtues. And then his cons are difficult, awakening conditions which is true depending on the team that you are running and then extra turns are anticipation bait and countered by relics and talents and then moderate cooldowns on best moves so now let's go on down to his move set so he has a 10 magic damage with remove torture immunities and self extra turn which is pretty cool he also has an aoe 30 water damage with 100 stamina removal and a negative effect and then he has a curse no not zero cooldown and then he also has remove control immunities with a extra turn he has an aoe stamina leak he has a remove evasion with an extra turn and he has an aoe evasion removal with curse and he has a 100 stamina removal he has a 50 stamina removal with stamina leak he also has a curse with stamina leak he has a random negative and a random negative times two so he has some pretty good moves but honestly none of them are super good i mean he is supposed to be an attacker and none of these really do that much damage i guess he does have an aoe 35 magic damage but yeah none of these really do a ton of damage but yeah he does have some really good moves though he can do a lot of effects which can help with his awakening and then once you get that team double damage you will do much more damage so yeah that is pretty much how you're going to want to use this monster just try to get him awakened and then you can do all of your damage so he does seem pretty good i do like him he has one of the best virtues in the game that is a very good virtue and yeah his moves are pretty decent as well so he is definitely worth getting if you can get him so yeah that is going to be it for this video let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to get baba bashir and i see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye